the sacrifice of an innocent child became the inspiration behind an extensive strategy to help children in crisis, especially girls. Following the brutal murder of their daughter Rosie May in 2003, Graham and Mary Story founded the Rosie May Memorial Fund in 2004. Subsequently, in the aftermath of the 2004 Asian tsunami, the foundation collaborated with local charities in the UK, Sri Lanka and Nepal to put together development projects in response to the catastrophe that had rendered thousands homeless. Through its various projects and campaigns in Sri Lanka and Nepal, such as the Rosie May Home, Project Hope, Manguri Girls Hostel and Mizelmi School, the Rosie May Foundation has given a new direction to the lives of a number of people. The Rosie May Home that opened in 2008 with just five children now shelters 16 girls in the age bracket of 4 to 18. The home strives to empower these children for a better and equitable future through individualized care, quality education and counselling. Volunteers and supporters at the Rosie May Home give regular lessons to children on cleanliness and sanitation so that they understand the importance of personal hygiene in order to stay safe from different types of infections. The charity founded Project Hope in 2016 as a step towards supporting vulnerable children while developing their potential and self-esteem. The project has achieved a 100% success rate in reuniting families and preventing separation of mothers from their children. Charity volunteers hold a weekly after-school English club at a local temple where they teach the skills of written and spoken English to children and their mothers. This interactive setup helps in boosting the mother-child relationship. Tuk Tuk, which is a groundbreaking Women Driving Women campaign of Project Hope, aims to bring down barriers by making single mothers living below poverty line self-dependent through regular training. What makes this Think Pink project unique is that it has provided a reliable source of income for female drivers. The charity has given training to three Sri Lankan mothers for a period of three months with two lessons each week, making them the first women tuk-tuk drivers in southern province of Sri Lanka. The women use tuk-tuks to take children to school and carry products to sell in the market. In coming months, the foundation plans to purchase one tuk-tuk costing around £2,500 which will be rented out to employ mothers. The money gained from the rental will be used to train the next three women. The inspiration for Think Pink came from my recent visit to Dubai where I saw women driving taxis with pink roofs wearing pink headscarves um, for specifically for women and girls and my idea was to replicate this in Sri Lanka to provide personal safety for women and girls. A recent survey in Sri Lanka shows that um, over 90% of women have been subjected to some form of harassment on uh, public transport. Um, therefore, Think Pink provides um, personal safety for women travelling to work and for girls travelling to school. For Nilanthi, Project Hope has been able to bring a newfound stability to her life. The foundation trained me in incense making and provided tuk-tuk driving lessons. Books, stationery and other necessities were given to my children for schooling. Now I'm going through a smooth period of my life. Similarly, Lakmali and her children have benefited from Project Hope in a big way. I was sent to Project Hope when I had nothing to eat. The foundation helped me in becoming self-dependent. They supported my children's education by providing 4,000 rupees per month. Providing inclusive quality education for those in need remains at the heart of the Rosie May Foundation's mission. In the small Meselmi village, situated in the lower Everest region of Nepal, the foundation has built an earthquake resilient school having 28 children. Constructing classrooms with proper furniture, providing books and uniforms to encourage the idea of education among children, and offering one nutritious meal a day are some of the fundamental requirements addressed by the charity. Initiatives such as building the Meselmi Primary School works massively in ensuring that children are empowered through education. It also helps in controlling the problem of human trafficking, something that Nepal has been a victim of for a long time. Having new building, yeah. they encourage to send their children because they are safe okay. when they go to school. No light, no studies. That's been the fate of children in this village 
that faces serious electricity concerns. With its One Light, One Student campaign, the Rosie May Foundation has provided 550 solar lights so far to make a difference to children's education. They're specifically made by students yes, sir. to help children to do homework by the light. The 2015 Nepal earthquake left more than a million people with hardly anything to eat. Especially in the hilly terrains, food security has deteriorated enormously ever since. In this scenario, the Rosie May Foundation has endeavoured to impart knowledge of sustainable agricultural methods to farmers in these regions. There is special focus on encouraging female farmers with initiatives such as extending funding to the Women's Progressive Group, which is a community of 189 members. The community is involved in activities such as milk collection and selling homemade products. In the rocky midwestern terrains of Nepal, more than 60% of women do not own a house and often walk tens of kilometers to collect drinking water. The Rosie May Foundation has constructed a three-kilometer pipeline that provides water to 64 girls in the hostel and 143 households in the community. Additionally, the charity has also built toilets and provided desks for girls in the hostel. The success of the Rosie May Foundation is really down to the personal touch that it provides and leaving a le living legacy behind from Rosie May. It turns tragedy into hope and stops children and families being torn apart. What started as a small step to keep the legacy of Rosie May alive, the foundation has come a long way in bringing smiles to the faces of dozens of people in the deprived regions of Sri Lanka and Nepal. The mission, however, continues to grow from strength to strength and so does the hope of all those supported by it.